Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to use Motion Blur directly in the edit page of DaVinci Resolve 17. Let's check it out. Alright, so we're in DaVinci Resolve 17 right now, we're on the edit page and as you can see I have a clip in my timeline that I took in Japan. There is quite a lot of movement right here with those car uh, and the train at the back, but there is not so much motion blur because I took it in slow motion. So. What I would like to do is add a bit of motion blur so those cars look a bit more cinematic and it looks a bit more natural. To do that, usually I would have to go to the Fusion page, but now I can do it directly in the Edit page with the latest version of DaVinci Resolve. Uh, and to do that, it's very, very simple. We're gonna go over to the Effect Library, down to Open Effects, and here I'm just gonna go with Motion Blur. I'm just gonna drag and drop the Motion Blur onto my clip. And here, if I go over to my Inspector, click on Effects, I have the motion blur. I have the slider right here where I can adjust the strength of the effect for the sake of the video. I'm just going to add it to the maximum to show you the before and after. So right here, as you can see, it add a lot of blur to the car and the train, but back there, the billboard that stays still weren't affected by it. Same as the main character right here in the frame, they weren't affected. It only affects the things that are in movement. So right now, if we turn it off, as you can see, it was very, very sharp at the beginning and now only the object in movement were affected. It's more cinematic, it looks more natural, but usually you want to be very cautious with it and not add too much of it. Otherwise, it might look very, very odd. But here, if we do a strength of 50, I think it's pretty good. Let's see how it affected the image. Turn it off, on, on, off. Yeah, it looks pretty good, I like it. Let's do a side by side. Now you can see the before and after side by side. It's subtle, but in my opinion, those kind of details make a big difference in making your footage look more natural and cinematic. All right, I hope this video was useful. Let me know in the comments what kind of video you would like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com.